how good did that feel? I mean, obviously you guys were. I mean, that feeling. felt like us. I mean, gee, I mean, that's been missing for a long time now, and I mean, it feels good to see guys, you know, finally feel comfortable. And you know, I mean, we had nothing to lose. We probably lost the series. Might as well just come out and just yeah. swing it as much as we could. And we did. Guys got good swings in all day, and it felt good. And we put up a nine spot, and then Al threw the threw a great game for us, and we needed that big time. And he's come up a couple times for us when we needed him most, and. Uh, I mean, that, that's, that's ducks right there, and we, we want more of that. So. What, how would you describe the frustration level, I guess, after the last night? I mean, you guys come in expect to take this series? Probably the highest it's ever been yeah. in our program. I mean, and I've, I've been on a team that's 14 and 42, but I think that the difference was I don't think we cared yeah. then versus now, and I think I think that's part of our problem is guys are caring too much, and they're they're trying too hard and doing doing too much, and they're out of their element. and. Um, and I think today you saw guys just relax and say, hey, you know what, whatever. And whatever happens, happens. And we had a lot of good things happen today, so it's good. Is that, is that part of it? You guys just feeling that pressure last, the last couple of weeks? Yeah. Is that people just say trying too hard? I think, I think accepting failure and learning from failure have been two different things on this team. Um, you know, guys come up in big spots and not getting the hits that they're, you know, capable of getting. And then that, that carries over for the whole game on them. And, Oh, if I would have gotten that hit in the first inning, we would have won. We wouldn't have been playing extra innings. But I mean, I mean, stuff happens, you know. So it's, it's hard. It's hard to deal with that. And hopefully, guys can learn from it and grow on. What worked for you in those situations? Today? I mean, all season I've been like one for 38 and runners in scoring position or something like that. So today, I think I just said, you know, it's it's not all about this hit and it's not all about this RBI. This RBI isn't going to dictate the score of the game. So I just try to put a good swing on the ball. And that's what I did all series. I was just trying to put good swings on the ball with runners in scoring position and. I felt I felt good all weekend. Uh, sometimes I didn't get rewarded, but today I got rewarded. It felt good. Can this be that game that's a jumping off point for you guys? I hope so, man. I hope so. I mean, I hope this is the one where guys look back and go, "Hey, that getting beat at home against UW really, really turned it around for us." And uh, uh, you know, I, I hope we roll on. We're, we're very capable of rolling on 15 to 20. Uh, it's just, you know, staying with that mentality of, hey, this is game one, this isn't game 20 or whatever like that. It's just taking it day by day and winning each pitch, and I hope we do that. Day, and then, you know, you have a couple games like uh, on Friday and Saturday, and it takes a lot out of you, and then you try to muster up as much energy and emotion as you can for Sunday either way. And uh, it's a good, good first step forward, and, uh, you know, all you can do is take it one day at a time and hopefully take care of business. And, you know, you look at the score and, oh, it's 9 to nothing done. But that wasn't as easy as it looked, and there were some spots in there that runner at third at bats that didn't go quite perfectly our way. And you know, it might be a breakthrough thing. Danny Pulfer had a big day, and some ducks picked up ducks after not doing productive at bats with the guy at third. And, and Cadell and uh, Tester did their their job, and so uh, definitely a good step. Feels good to have a victory, first one in the pack this year, and maybe we can string some together. It's not going to be easy, but. Is this the kind of win uh, possibly, you know, the, uh, in the first inning when we run a first and third play and it was going to work and uh, Peterson gets ticked with the ball and they call him back. I, you know, I kind of looked at the assistant coaches. I go, here we go again. You know, just things like that uh, have been happening to us. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think the kind of win that would really spark us is uh, to come from behind in a win or hold on late or those kind of emotional wins tend to have more of an impact than just a nine to nothing deal. So you're going, here we go again after the first inning, the base is loaded. But how about the situation? Well, I, even the second inning, we got a two, it could have been a four, you know, or a three, an easy three if we just yeah. put the ball in play and Sable chases and makes an out. And I wrote that on my notes, and that would have been something to come back to if things go sideways. And it's hard to be perfect. But, uh, you know, that's what I meant by it looked easier. And even the four run inning, uh, it took a two out, a bunch of foul balls by Casey and battling through that and drew a walk. And then Danny had a good at bat. So that looks like we just crushed the ball. But there were some little things in that inning as well. And, uh, you know, with the new bats and us struggling, little, little victories are big victories. So I'm not complaining about that. But again, it wasn't as easy as it looked. It was a, a grinding kind of effort. And, very proud of him. Coach, uh, you guys play a lot better, it seems like, on season finales or days where you're wearing the green and yellow. Uh, and I, know, I, I know you guys call it attitude days. So you bring a different mentality on these days? Or? That's the plan. Uh, Cudell likes to throw with the yellow panel cap, which we call our attitude cap. And, uh, 
you know, I think we're at a point where we, uh, I don't know if we'll do it or not, but we need to have our attitudes on every single game from here on in because we, we've had this sense of urgency and frivolous things like taps or burning monkeys or uh, turning the lineup upside down like the Rays did. Uh, all the things that the players have these great ideas. Uh, I'd rather just see it come from real grinded, hardball playing, hustle, and those kind of things. And I don't think we need a certain kind of uniform on to play hard. I hope. I hope we don't.